Most Rancilio Silvia users are going to be familiar with the little hex bolt pattern at the top of a puck. It comes from uh, the bolt that sticks out from the dispersion screen underneath uh, on the Silvia. So I use an 8mm socket or a wrench and uh, loosen it up like you would do to take this all apart when you maybe clean all these parts which we all do regularly. Um, unscrews out, the parts drop out, you're going to have the dispersion screen, the dispersion nut is what I'm going to call it. If you haven't done this before, it goes together, it's just two or three parts, it's no big deal. Take these all out, put a rag down underneath at the bottom, pull out the drip tray and all that stuff underneath and put a towel down so if you drop this stuff it doesn't bang and clatter, dent and ding anything. Get familiar with how the parts came out, how to put them back in in case the project goes south and you want to put things back in there. You can see how when it's installed that bolt head sticks out a little bit and that's what gives you that imprint in the top of your puck. So looking underneath you can see uh, where the gasket, the portafilter gasket in black surrounds uh, the area where the dispersion screen just came out of. I'm going to take that out. It looks good. Um, be careful when you do this. Sharp pointy screwdriver to pry it out. Uh, be careful. I scraped up my fingers but I'm going to get it out. It's been in a year and I was concerned about coffee gunk getting behind there and sitting and baking and just turning into a nasty mess underneath there. So I pulled out the gasket. It was still very flexible. Could have left it in, probably could have reused it, but I didn't. Um, it came out. It uh, was a little challenge to get loose underneath. It wasn't bad underneath the gasket. So that's, like I said, a year of daily use. It went into Kaviza. We soaked all the parts that came out got a brush going and tried to address the underneath side so kind of really working in that circle where that gasket sat uh, getting some of the cleaner on there letting it sit a little while going over it a couple times and getting all that junk out of there it's only going to build up and get nastier so here's your big chance it cleaned up really well looks good and uh, just taking a look at the parts that did come out and cleaned. That's your shower screen all cleaned up. That dispersion nut. Uh, good gasket. Uh, so everything, just give it a good cleaning. This is a good chance to get in there and, and get all that coffee gunk off. These are some of the packages I had for replacement parts. That Fruition TC is the upgrade kit. I think that's just the stock Rancilio replacement screen, and that's just a different gasket, uh, more of a silicone based or something. Uh, the Fruition kit comes with what looks like exactly like the same dispersion screen, the same gasket. The difference is going to be in that um, it's going to obviously give you that Allen that you see down there, and those Allen head screws or kind of bolts that go in with that uh, but most importantly the dispersion nut has like a countersink you can't see until we get it out um, but it allows that bolt to really recess up in there and sit more flat so it looks similar from this side let's get it out and that one on the left is the new one, the one on the right is the stock one, and you can see how it's countersunk to allow that screw head to drop down into it a lot more and give you more of a flat um, shower screen and hopefully lose that, um, that dimpling or that effect um, on, the, on the putt. So these are the new parts that came in the kit.
this is the reverse of taking out. Put everything back in and tightening it up with the provided Allen. At this point, feels snug, feels nice. It feels like it's going in there tightly. Um, since it's the same shower screen, the dispersion looks exactly the same or really close. I don't think we're changing anything with that dramatically. Um, it looks like a pretty good shower of water coming out of it. And this is like, I think, with a, almost a 16 gram shot. Uh, and you can just barely see the indentation of it. So you can see the improvement right away on that. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a nice upgrade. I'm going to see how this goes.